Hey, morning guys. Time for a new engine for the Dooley. Uh, it was worn out, had 190,000 on it, so um, there's the old one over there, I don't know if you can see it. It was shot, burning oil. It ran okay, but it was down on power and it was just worn out. So it's time to build a new engine for it. I've been wanting to do this for the last couple of years and I put it off until this year. But it's a new GM block, 7.4 liter, uh, 454 block. Went ahead and got a new forged steel crank. I uh, have all new pistons and rods. The whole lower unit, or the whole lower end will be new. I uh, got the cylinder heads freshened up. Uh, new pistons, seal power, Hypertech cast pistons. Uh, it's going to be a street engine, so I did not go with a forged piston. Uh, it's got the coated skirts on it. See that? 100 thousandths dome. Uh, I'm going to increase the compression ratio. Uh, I've done the math. I'll, uh, I'll go over that with you later on. But it's going to be a little bit of an increase over stock. But new pistons. Coated skirts. New H-beam rods. Full floating wrist pin brass bushings uh, so new rods pistons new balancer rings of course so okay I'm gonna get the uh, rod caps put on or not rod caps the uh, main caps put on get that done now All right, guys. Got the uh, just flipped the motor over. Got the crankshaft all bolted in and torqued. Just want to let you know what I'm just put. Uh, this stuff here is called Quick Seat. Uh, it's a dry lubricant, like a graphite from Total Seal. Total Seal rings. Uh, you can see it all over my hand, my fingers. You apply it with your fingers. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little shot here. Uh, see, I've got the green tint. You clean your cylinder walls really well. See, it looks green. Uh, it's supposed to help the rings seat in a little quicker when we first start it up. Just wanted to give you that little bit of info there. There's the pistons and rods. I'm going to get those put together. All the rods and pistons are put together, assembled, all the locks, see it. Oh. Alright, I'm going to get the uh, rings put on now, and then we'll, uh, we'll start putting the pistons in. The rings installed on this piston, uh, we'll get the ring com compressor on it and get his stuff down in there get our rings in the correct position
on your rods on a Chevrolet engine, the chain goes to the outside. As you can see, we got all the pistons in. Everything's in. All in. Torqued down. Uh, so that part's done. New timing chain. Crank gear. Cam gear. The timing chain on. Also, got to install this uh, this trigger wheel. Uh, this has a crank sensor, goes in the timing chain cover. So you also got to uh, install this on the crankshaft as well. So get that put on. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on. Uh, welcome back. I got the timing chain cover on. Got all the lifters in. The retainer that holds the. Uh, lifters because it has a roller cam set up in it got all that done getting ready to put these cylinder heads on there's the cylinder heads new springs valves reworked all freshened up and ready to go this motor stock was um, 8.75 to 1 with a flat top piston with those particular head on them with this 100,000th dome and all the calculations and figured it up with this gasket, this particular gasket, the thickness of this gasket, it's going to come up to be 9.4.5. So almost 9.5 to 1. Anything above 9.6 to 1, you end up running into a pre detonation. I run a pump gas. Uh, just not enough octane in it, and you could uh, have a pre-detonation issue, uh, anything over 9.6. So I'm going to be at 9.4 and a half is where it calculated to be with this particular gasket. With a 100,000 stone piston, 118 cc combustion chambers. God, it's dark on the heads. So... That's what it'll end up being. It should give it more torque than what it had originally. A little more horsepower, a little more torque. That's a little info for you. We're going to go ahead and start putting the cylinder heads on. Mission these things way about All right, another thing on your head bolts on these. All these head bolts go into the water jackets, so you'll want to use. I use this General Motors gasket sealing compound. Works really well on the threads, sealing them into the uh, sealing the bolts as they go into the water jacket.
All right. Oh, that wore me out. Yeah. <laughs> There's your torquing sequence. Uh, just finished up. Got both the heads torqued on. Um, I'll probably go ahead and put the uh, put the push rods in, rock arms, get that part done. And there's a windage tray that goes in here, a splash shield. This shield right here. Oh, you don't give a shit about that. Anyhow, that's just down in there. I'll keep moving on. These rock arms, you just run them down tight. It has um, hydraulic lifters, which there, there's no valve lash adjustment. You just run them down solid, and the um, the hydraulic lifter, you know, keeps it keeps all your lash out of there. So you just run these down. They just bottom out right there. Run them down, non-adjustable. All right, guys, got all these torqued. That's pretty much done. Rock arms are on. We'll uh, get back out here in the next couple of days and um, get the oil pan put on, oil pump, and the intake. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll see you.